describe your understanding of the latest conflict and also your understanding about how to give peace a chance, as you said. Yeah, that was the very reason that we abstained. Uh, of course, there is a lot of interpretation. For us, the main reason why we abstain that we should seek for peaceful resolution of the conflict rather than passing a resolution that is like uh, encouraging war. So for us, the position was based on our principle of giving diplomacy and peaceful settlement a chance and the Pacific means that are provided in the UN Charter. So we need to work together. We need to have the voice. We need to have the voice of peace. And this is what is our plea that we cannot go back to the Cold War mentality. There's no win in this war, in this conflict, because the consequences are so grave and they touch everyone, every country, because Tanzania is very far from Ukraine, but you can see that already our citizens, our nationals are being affected by the war that is very far from us. We are being affected already is the rise of prices per oil, petrol yes. is rising. Yes. We also been affected because we had a, a number of students, students mm. who are studying medicine in Ukraine, about 300 plus. So they have all been evacuated. At this moment, at the critical juncture of the world, how should we see we can work together for multilateralism and for a balance of voices in our world? Yeah, in fact, thank you for that question, because as we are speaking, multilateralism has been brought to, I mean, it's so challenged. And some even says that um, multilateralism is under peril, is under dis distinction. So we, we, as developing countries, we have always stood together with China to have one voice. Uh, in support of multilateralism. But then what we are seeing reminds us that they, we have unfinished business. As Africa, we have been championing for the UN reforms, especially the reform of the Security Council that would open space for the rest of the world to be able to participate on an equal basis in the search for international peace and security. And um, I must also want to add on that in the ongoing UN reforms, we always count on China's role as permanent member. So I must say the symmetry of Sino-Africa stance of non-alignment concerning what we are seeing today is even more important, more relevant, and we, our voice, our voice has always been for peace. Our voice mm -hmm. has always been give diplomacy a chance.